We get things started with four rounds scheduled in the welterweight division. Sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, board representative, Dennis Gilmartin. Timekeeper, John Smith. When the bell rings, our referee in charge and scoring this contest will be Bob Williams. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the red corner, he's wearing white with black and weighed in at 10 stone, nine pounds. Coming to us from Leeds, Yorkshire, he brings a record of eight wins, seven defeats, with two wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Thomas Broadbent. And his opponent across the ring fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing black trunks and weighed in at 10 stone, eight pounds. Hailing from Bexley, London, he had a stellar amateur career and now is a professional. He is undefeated with three wins. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Mickey the Gent Bird. Okay, lads, if I want commands, in the event of a knockdown to fight a standard, you go to the third of the corner and stay Protect yourself at all times, touch the third. Referee Bob Williams giving words of advice and you see physically these two fighters very similar in terms of size. Broadbent no shortage of experience and he made Florian Marku look a little bit ordinary for a few rounds before Marku caught up with him in summer last year on the undercard of the Daniel Dubois Nathan Gorman card. Marku eventually beating him in four rounds, but not before Broadbent had had his moments. So it could be a little bit of a test, this one, for young Mickey Burke. Yeah. Yes, I think it will be a test for him, John, uh, for, for Burke. He's 3-0 and at the moment. And um, just looking at Burke, he's come out again strong on that front foot, looking for that right hand. But I like the way Burke works with his jab also. Strong kid, but Broadbent will definitely give him that test that he now needs. And what's uh, thought of that young Mickey Burke? People think he could be going a long way in this sport, but Broadbent is certainly no mug. And I've all, as I've already told you, he certainly wants to give a good account of him here, to, of himself here tonight. It's a good little attack there from Broadbent. Burke, he's strong on that front foot, but just occasionally you'll see Broadbent, although he moves backwards, he'll just counter-attack occasionally, he just beats Burke to the punch, just steps in, but that's better now from Burke. Good left up there from him as well, also over the top. Broadbent coming into this on the back of three defeats, three stoppages it has to be said, so he'll be wanting to stop that particular runner form. Burke says like many a talented young amateur that he's really more of a, a body puncher and in the amateur game he reckons that that doesn't get rewarded and so his style will be better suited to the pro game. Broadman's just a little bit guilty here, John. Just dropping those hands a little bit um, too often. Just relaxing a little bit too much. There he's got the hands nice and high. But he's got to watch that as he's coming forward. If you're coming forward with low hands, that's when you can actually walk onto a shot. It's OK when you're at a punch in range and distance. You can relax a little bit, drop the hands, get a bit of... Um, relaxation into them but when you're coming forward the hands are going to be a little bit higher just in case you walk onto a shot and that's what broadband's got to watch out for with the low hands coming forward Burke trying to end this as the aggressor around which he's surely done enough to have taken and a couple of headshots in the closing seconds opening round he's won every round of his pro career so far and by our reckoning, I'm pretty sure that Mickey Burke will have taken another.
Welcome back to the BT Studios, where Mickey Burke has won the first round. That's certainly the way I saw it, Richie. Yeah, he took the first round. Um, Broadbent started the round um, OK, but as the round went on, Burke got a little bit stronger and certainly established that jab. So, yeah, he took, he took the opening round for me. Burke, just 19 years old. Broadbent being sent to a neutral corner. And Bob Williams getting the action underway. Interestingly, I told you about uh, Thomas Broadbent and that fight against Florian Marku. Apparently, Mickey Burke had a pretty heated sparring session against Marku. And... Uh, it ended up with the two of them taking their gloves off and offering, basically offering each other a go on the cobbles. <laughs> so I think that's, that's one to look forward to down the line, maybe. It sometimes happens, Josh. You never did that, surely. No, well, sometimes you, uh, yeah, you, there's a few grudges in the gym here and there. But it is a rare occasion, I think. Really looking forward to the main event a little bit later on. And this is good work now from Burke, who's starting to pile on the pressure here in the second round and trying to produce what he sees will become his trademark body shots. Yeah, he's actually worked very well in this round, Burke, because he's targeted the body more than the head. He's switching the attack now, but started off well to the body. He's softened Broadbent up a little bit. Works, work, working low with that jab and that straight right to the body. And I think that's had an effect, and it's just slowed Broadbent down, hasn't it? He's taken a few too many now, so this is good work from Burke. There's a nice little uppercut there, though, from Broadbent, but he took a really solid left into the body, and his uh, knees just seem to sag momentarily. The older man by some 14 years is Thomas Broadbent. More good body shots from Burke. Definitely softening him up with some of these power shots, and indeed, it was the body shots there which really took the toll. Yeah, I think so. The body shots uh, certainly had an effect there, and then he switched the attack upstairs, a couple of big shots. Well, the referee's going to have a really good look at him and to see if he thinks he's capable of continuing. Broadbent says yes, but Burke now is going looking for him, and it might be all over here, and it is in the second round. And Mickey Burke gets his first stoppage victory. Looked good tonight, accounting for the man from Leeds, Thomas Broadbent, and securing a very competent second round stoppage. Yeah, good performance. I thought the start of this round, he worked very well to the body. He certainly weakened Broadbent downstairs, and then he switched the attack um, upstairs and, and finished his opponent off. But yeah, a, a good display. I think towards the end of the first round, he just started to establish that long jab and straight right hand to the body. And then he's kicked off the second round in similar style, targeted the body and then switched upstairs. So, yeah, I think it was a good performance. This. Let's have a look at it here. Look, these body shots are going in. Good right hand there. And there's the one that just finished it off, wasn't it? Just a, a right hand to the head, side of the head. Let's have a look at it again. Right hand's coming up, there it is there, just misses the target, left goes in. Broadbent, though, was feeling feeling the pressure up to this point, and then there's another shot that comes in there, and down he goes. It was the body shots which did the damage, wasn't it? He, and before was... this as well, John, you see. Yeah. He started the round very well, and those body shots, they really do hurt, and they can... You can get caught with a body shot, it can last for, for minutes the pain, sometimes rounds. And it was a good display there from Burke. From two decent young welterweights around the country, and Mickey Burke has got his eyes on them all. He's already been calling out the likes of 
Harley Ben. Well, that would be interesting, but for the moment, he's accounted for Thomas Broadbent and done it in pretty good style. And here's Thomas Triber to confirm the result. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. Our referee in charge, Bob Williams, stops the contest as the red corner was in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner, and still undefeated, Mickey the Gent Burke. Early days yet for Mickey Burke, but that's four wins out of four for the 19-year-old. And he did what he had to tonight and did it pretty well.